This is episode two of the IACF Antiques and Vintage Quiz. We're coming to you today from Newark Antiques Fair, the biggest in Europe. Play along. I'm going to offer you some money. I'm going to offer you... Well, this is a bit exciting, isn't it, Susie? It certainly is. I'm so excited about this. It's going to be yes. a bit of a challenge. We have our contestants, ladies. Introduce yourselves. My name's Michelle. Michelle. I'm um, uh, from Lincoln. From Lincoln, yeah. okay. Yeah, and I'm Sam, and I'm also from Lincoln. You're from Lincoln. Now, Sam, are you in the antiques business? Um, more vintage. I have Swanholt Vintage on Instagram. Brilliant. We'll tag you in. Okay, so you've got to share this as well. Now, Susie here owner of Magpie Salvage. The Lucky Magpie Salvage, yes, based in Chesterfield. Right, now you have a bit of a challenge here, Susan. I certainly do. Challenge the ladies. Okay, ladies, so I have this fabulous little box here which contains what looks like ingredients. Can you guess what this is? <laughs> well, they've got a bit of a silence there, Susie. Okay. Um, so. So if we see, we've got cocoa shells, cocoa. Oh, oh. is it the, be, the, this is where the bee and making chocolate, this is the end product. So it's a display item for a chocolatier, a chocolatier and it goes to make chocolate. So we're advertising. Kind of, advertising. It's yeah. advertising, advertising, yes. Yeah, the product for, for, for Cadbury's. Yeah. <laughs> So it's yeah. Cadbury's, yes, because obviously we can see um, the original. So we know that there's some age to it because we've got the old, yeah. thick, chunky chocolate blocks there of Cadbury's it's, just on there. Is it all the products that they make? Is it a round trees from Birmingham, oh, yeah. round trees, and it was basically uh, used as, like, um, she says, for display, showing the process. So it's, it's Cadbury's, so we know it's Cadbury's. Yep. So, so Cadbury's of Birmingham. Cadbury's of Birmingham, it's yes. It's a factory display item showing the product. They're almost there, <laughs> Susie. They're almost there. Almost Go there. Go on, tell them exactly what it is. So basically, this was actually sent out to schools in the 1960s oh, and right. 70s. Oh, it's a teaching aid. And it's a teaching aid. Wow. So right. it was known as the box of specimens. So it would actually yes. teach children back in the day before the realms of social media right. and that kind of yep. thing, how chocolate from, was made. Yep. We knew that. From yeah, we, we did. From, from yeah. You were way. getting there. You were getting there. You were all, You were there. Yeah. And yeah. it was a great way of selling, of course, it's, getting it's a brand new market. Was. Okay. Yes. Now yes. then, you were very good, very good. Not quite good enough, Susie, I would say, oh. for a prize. But however, I think we should really risk this. I'm going to offer you some money. I'm going to offer you £50 cash if you can value this object exactly. How much is it priced at? When is it dated from? Am I allowed to ask another question? So, yeah, so it's mid century. Yeah, but don't take too long. We haven't got all day. Yeah, um, I think I would say um, £100. £100. I would say 145 145 Susie, show the ticket. Where is it? Oh, let's get the ticket. Oh, my gosh. This might cost me a lot of money. 50 quid? How much? 135. Oh, ladies. So close. So close, but very well done. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye. Phew, save me 50 quid. That was close, David. It was too close. That was too close. I didn't like that.